hello friends in last video we have learned about the banner ad and instantial ad in this video we will learn how to implement the native ad in our application native ads are more similar to banner ad but with advanced enhanced feature in it we can customize the native ads without change in our app so uh, if you don't see all my videos just watch all videos description follow that link in description and cards so just go to the add mob and add add unit for native ads select it all previous video are in cards and in description so here is the three types small large i will select the second one and here is the template types also to customize so select the second one i will select you can select anyone according to you here we can change customize this template according to yourself so text title button and also it will provide the css file by it we can change the designing of button and everything what we will like to change i don't change anything just validate it and we also customize the refresh rate also i will provide the add unit name demo native and click save so here it is the add unit id and it also provide the width and height in dp also so just select the app unit id select that and copy this and paste it in our notepad and done it so here is all three ads are available just go to our studio and we will work this ad in second activity so add to second activity dot xml and now we will change the layout here firstly firstly we use the linear layout here and orientation vertical so here is the orientation will vertical okay now change the xml to app to ads okay is it and now we will provide here the native ads so we will include the native ads native express ad where the wrap content height wrap content and now we will provide some gravity here center layout gravity center okay change it to horizontal layout center horizontal okay and provide the margin from top to 25 tp and provide an id to second native okay everything is done here and now provide the add unit so adds column add unit id equal double quotes and paste here the add unit id just copy it and paste it here i already show tell you that don't use the original id use the sample id it is the native express sample id so just use this sample id in development time so okay everything is done here now provide the size for it adds call adds column size equal 300 300 into 220 so here we use the sign for into is to x small x here is an error so i will now in java file of second activity i will define the 
native add here so firstly define the object here for native add so native express add view and now the object now initialize this object so native add native express add view equal now type cast it with native express add view so here it is type cast and now find view by id so just r dot id dot second activity second sorry second native yeah you can see that second native okay so second native ah, here is it okay now we will initialize to load this add so native add view dot load add now add the request new add request add request okay add request oops where is it yeah add request oops remove it add request dot builder dot build okay in our previous video i already told you that when we run this app in our emulator so we'll include this add test device and here add request dot yeah here is it device to emulate so when we run the app in emulator so we use this line here okay so i have done in our real device i will run in our real device so i will show you our app in our real device so now go to our real device here is it you can see the banner ad in the and a button for move to second activity so when we click this button the instantial ad will show here is it you can see the instantial ad when we close the second activity and here is the native activity so friends if you like this video then if you not subscribe my channel then subscribe my channel and like this video if so thank you friends